Promo alert. Promo alert. Promo alert today is your boy Glock 45. Glock 45. Man, make sure y'all go follow him on Instagram and subscribe to his YouTube channel. Let them know I sent you. Put in the comments. Leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. It's free. Do it for me. Tired of being down, so I'm hurting. Now I'm hurting. That's why I'm always staying strapped for the emergency. Cop a new whip, cop a new crib when I start bubbling. When I start bubbling. If I work that Burger King, will you treat me like a king? Like a king. If I ain't have a thing, will you remain the same? Remain the same. When it all fall down. In the rain. In the rain. When it all fall down. In the rain. If I ain't have a thing, will you remain the same? If I work that Burger King, will you treat me like a king? With another video let's get straight into it man hit that like button subscribe and turn on your post notifications it's free do it for me promo alert promo alert let's get it man listen i'm doing promo twenty dollar promo man twenty dollar promo gonna get you a shout out on my instagram and i'm gonna put you in one of my YouTube videos, $20 promo, that's it, hey, y'all want to win for the summer, huh, y'all want to get lit, huh, it going to be a city girl or something, city boy or something, huh, get your business straight, hit me up for promo if you want to elevate, gang. What up, gang, I'm back with another one, this is going to be a quick one, this is a Kodak update, um, Kodak was charged with 31 rocks oxycodone pills and having 76,000 and something dollars on them. Uh, the police pulled him because his bulletproof truck tent was too dark. That was their proper cause. The tent was too dark. When they pulled him, walked to the truck, he let down the window, police smelled marijuana, he opened the door, smoke came out, Y'all know he ain't there smoking. All right. He had 31 oxycodone pills. You feel me? It ain't have his name on it. Y'all already know. You buy from the pill people. Pill man, pill lady, whoever in the hood or whatever sell the pills. You know, they tell the name off on them. All right. He had 31 pills with money on them in the car driving. They trying to hit them with trafficking. Anytime you have a certain amount of drugs, pills, whatever it is, narcotics, with a large amount of money in the car and is moving, they can hit you with trafficking. Um, a lot of times, depending on the nature of the case, they drop it down to a lesser charge. So that trafficking may be dropped down to a simple possession because you all already know when they first hit you with it they're gonna give you the versus charge so the versus charge right now is trafficking they trying to say he was moving one drugs from one place to another you feel me because he was in the car the car moving he got drugs the drugs which is the pills you feel me so most likely he gonna get it knocked down from trafficking to a possession um they do that they just do it i guess just the power charges like to make it stick okay it wasn't okay we wasn't trafficking okay well it was in your possession so we're gonna keep it with possession you feel me but um yeah gang like i said kodak he should know how to move by now man like these guys haven't learned nothing from the guys before us and the generation before us. Y'all got all this money. I don't understand why these celebrities and rappers don't have stash spots in the vehicle. Y'all getting the cars bulletproof. Y'all getting all this jewelry. Y'all getting all this money. But you not. And y'all know y'all be 
having illegal guns, drugs on y'all, why not go put a stash spot built in your car for like five grand? So when the police get behind y'all, y'all could easily put the drugs and guns in a sacred stash spot, press a button, move the uh, temperature button and all this shit down. Voila, a, a, a box slide out the door or slide out the floor. You can put it in, close it back up. Like, come on. Like, y'all ain't learning nothing from BMF. The motherfuckers had stash spots in trucks and cars and limousines. Motherfuckers got arrested. The police took the limousine, sold it to somebody. Somebody else sold that motherfucker. And they found millions of dollars later on after they been through two, three owners in the stash spot. Like, come on. Like, that that's the most stupidest shit that I don't understand. Y'all know y'all be doing illegal shit. Why y'all don't get stash spots in these cars? Why? Like, car places don't do it no more? Like, I'm confused. Like, that's the, if somebody ain't Kodak caliber, I, like, that's the first thing that I'm going to do. Go get the car bulletproof, first thing. Second thing, I'm going to get a stash spot because I know I'm going to have drugs or illegal gun in the car. Police get behind me, press the button, boop, boop, stash spot pop up, shh. Put guns and drugs in that bitch. Close it. Boom. Police can't open that stash spot and, and they ain't going to see the stash spot because it's going to be blended in somehow. But police ain't going to know and can't open it unless somebody in the underwrite snitch. Underwrite snitch. Because most likely, like with BML, you had to turn the vent up. Turn the um radio to the button to the left. And then press the... um. How's it like, buddy? And then the stash spot box pop open. All right, come on. Like, how a motherfucker gonna know to do all that to make this stash spot secretly department pop open? Unless, you know what I'm saying, somebody in your entourage tell. So, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know if they forgot about the stash spot shit or what, but it ain't no way. It ain't no way, man. And I don't know, gang. Like, it just seems like Kodak don't never learn. But like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification. It's free. Do it for me.